I should like to be able to love my country and still love justice. Every man, and for stronger reasons, every artist, wants to be recognized. So do I. Heroism is accessible. Happiness is more difficult. The myth of unlimited production brings war, in its train as inevitably, as clouds announce a storm. At thirty a man should know himself, like the palm of his hand, know the exact number of his defects, and qualities, know how far he can go, foretell his failures, be what he is. And, above all, accept these things. Truly fertile music, the only kind that will move us, that we shall truly appreciate, will be a music conducive to dream which banishes all reason, and analysis. One must not wish first to understand, and then to feel. Art does not tolerate reason. Violence is both, unavoidable, and unjustifiable. Every man needs slaves, like he needs clean air. To rule is to breathe, is it not? and even the most disenfranchised, get to breathe. The lowest on the social scale, have their spouses or their children. There will be no lasting peace, either in the heart of individuals, or in social customs until death is outlawed. I have never been able to renounce the light, the pleasure of being, and the freedom in which I grew up. One leader one people, signifies one master and millions of slaves. To be famous, in fact, one has only to kill one's landlady. When you have really exhausted an experience, you always reverence and love it. Only a philosophy of eternity, in the world today, could justify non-violence. Real nobility is based on scorn, courage, and profound indifference. The desire for possession is insatiable, to such a point that, it can survive even love itself. To love, therefore, is to sterilize the person one loves. The real passion of the twentieth century is servitude. Culture, the cry of men in face of their destiny. In order to exist just once in the world, it is necessary never again to exist. Methods of thought, which claim to give the lead, to our world in the name of revolution, have become, in reality, ideologies of consent and not of rebellion. To assert in any case, that a man must be absolutely cut off from society because he is absolutely evil amounts, to saying that society is absolutely good, and no one in his right mind will believe this today. The absurd depends, as much on man, as on the world. For the moment, it is all that links them together. Those who weep for the happy periods, which they encounter in history acknowledge, what they want not the alleviation, but the silencing of misery. As a remedy to life in society, 